Don't think about it too much, too much, too much, too much. Hi guys, thank you so much for watching and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a makeup look based on this palette right here. So this is the Zoeva, Zoeva, whatever you want to call it, Coco Blend Palette. It has 10 different shades in there. They're all amazing colours right up my street. Um, but yeah, I used a couple of them today to create this eye makeup. It's a little bit different because obviously it's a spotlight eye. I don't have eyeliner on or false lashes. And I paired it with this dark lip as well. If you do want to see how I got this makeup look, then just keep on watching. Bye. Okay, so I have already primed my eyelids with Soft Ochre Paint Pot, and then I just set that in place with a translucent powder. So just go ahead with your normal eye base. What that will do, it will just help your eyeshadows last longer, and it'll also neutralise the eyelid as well. Okay, so like I said in the intro, I'm going to be using the Zoeva Cocoa Blend Palette. I'm just going to start off with this shade right here which is called substitute for love cute and, oh, sorry. and i'm just going to use that on a 227 brush by zoeva as well <laughs> what are the chances i'm just going to put that right in the crease area and it will just act as a transition color and add a little bit of definition as well and I'm bringing that all the way into the inner corner. I am going to go in with Freshly Toasted and mix it with a little bit of, um, I can't read, Sweeter End which is this one right here and that one right there. I'm just going to mix the two together. And the reason why I'm using a smaller brush, because I want a little bit more of a precise application. Because I really want to focus it on the inner and outer part of the eye. So we're creating depth in the inner part and the outer part. And you can just build that up until you're happy with the intensity. And I'm not worrying about blending the top part yet. I just want to get, sorry, I just want to get that colour intensity first. And then once you're happy with the intensity, I'm just going to go back in with that first brush. And just go over those edges. And then you can always go back in with the brush if you feel like you've lost a little bit of the colour. So just again on the outer and inner part. I'm like hey, what's up? Oh, you my okay, so next for the center of the eye, I'm gonna use a mixture of two colours just because I can't decide which one to use. So I thought I'd mix them together. So I'm going to use, um, firstly, this colour called Warm Notes, which is this one right here. And then on top of that, I'm going to use Pure Champagne, which is this one right here. very 
center I will use that pure is it sham okay I don't know why I said pure champagne but <laughs> it says pure ganache ganache my bad <laughs> anyways gonna go in with that color and put that right on the center I'm actually going to use my finger. Okay, so I want the inner and outer part to be a little bit darker, so I'm just going to go in with Embark by MAC, which is just this one here. It's just like a really dark choc chocolatey brown. And I'm just using a smaller brush. Or more of a flat brush, I would say, um, just to get a bit more pigment onto the eye. And if you're using a darker shade, always go in with smaller motions. Um, don't put it all over the area that you want it to be darkest, because darker colours will naturally blend out a little bit higher anyway. They basically just travel a little bit more when you blend them. So I'm just focusing it on the very outer and inner part of the eye. Okay, so I am just going to clean up the under eye, finish my foundation, and then I will be back to finish the bottom lash line and I might do some eyeliner as well. Okay, so I have just finished my foundation, powder, bronzer, all that stuff. If you want to know what products I use and the sort of um, technique, contour, whatever, I have a separate video for that so I will link it down below or somewhere on the screen so you can have a look afterwards. Okay, so with a flat shader brush, this is the 212 by MAC, I'm going to use that same freshly toasted colour, which is this one here, and I'm going to really buff that into the bottom lash line. And whilst I'm doing that, I'm just going to quickly tidy up the contour, just because it looks a little bit patchy. So don't mind that, <laughs> if you wonder what's going on. This is a good way to tidy up your bronzer or contour if you feel like you've gone a little bit too low. Just like that. Um, powder, if you're wondering, is literally just the transparent powder by Rimmel. As you can see, it's well loved. It's, okay, so as I was saying, I'm just going to buff that freshly toasted right onto the bottom lash line. Sorry, I'm going to really look down for this because I don't want to get any fallout onto my foundation. So... Once you've done that, I'm going to go back in with the substitute or sweeter end, whatever, just mixture of these two and just blend that out. And for that I'm going to use my favourite pencil brush for the bottom lash line and that is the 230 by Zoeva. And I'm just going to literally, I'm going to hit that right on the bottom part, I'm not going to go over it because I don't want to lose that colour, but I'm just going to go right under the edges and I don't mind it being too smoky but that is personal preference and I'm going to make sure to connect it here as well and just keep going back and forth and blend it out the skin if that makes sense I'm just going to brush this away Okay, so I was going to add a little bit more of a darker shadow on the bottom lash line, 
but I am thinking of wearing a dark lipstick so I didn't want my eyes to be too dark but you know you can do whatever you prefer to be honest but yeah I think I'm gonna leave it at that um and I was gonna apply eyeliner but I kind of don't want to now because I've got the spotlight eye I don't want to take away from that so you can go ahead with eyeliner if you want but I think I'm just going to apply some false lashes and I will be back. Don't worry I do have a video coming up on um, eyeliner and how to apply false lashes so don't you worry. Stay tuned. <laughs> do you know what I don't think I'm going to apply false lashes. One because I'm being lazy and two I thought, because my eyes are quite small, as soon as I apply false lashes, you kind of lose a little bit of the like colour and what I've done on the lid. And I don't really want to take away from the spotlight sort of eye that I've created. But as I always say, it's completely up to you. Do whatever you feel comfortable with. You can apply some false lashes if you would like. But yeah, I thought I might keep it quite like... I don't know how you explain it, like sort of chic looking, if that makes sense. So not too glamorous, a little bit grungy. I'm just going to apply shitloads of mascara. Okay, so I like to use two different mascaras just because I sort of get the best effect that way. Um, so the ones that I use is Upward Lash by MAC. It looks like a really big lipstick. And then after that, I will go in with Extended Play Gigabat. <laughs> Giga Black. Why can't I speak? Extended play Giga Black Lash. Oh, that's a tongue twister. But yeah, so basically this one just has a really tiny wand, like a skinny wand, whereas this one is a little bit fatter. Um, but it's still quite short, so it really helps to like lengthen your lash and it gets every lash because it's quite small, so it's great for someone who doesn't have a lot of lash to work with. So mine are they're pretty average to be honest, so yeah, let's just go ahead. And then I like to go in with this one afterwards because I feel like it gets rid of any clumps um, and just sort of adds a little bit more length. As well. Okay, so I'm just going to let that little smudge there dry and then I will blend it out later. So otherwise it will just be a hot mess. Okay, so like I said before, I'm going to use... I'm going to do a dark lip. Sorry, can't talk. Um, Yeah, I just felt like doing a dark lip today. I may or may not leave it on, I'm not really sure. Um, but I basically wanted to base this whole look round, obviously, this palette and also this lipstick by MAC, which is called Film Noir, which is like a really dark brown, like a warm brown, if that makes sense. Um, so, yes, but obviously, like I always say, it's completely optional. You can go for a nude lip if you just wanted to have the focus on the eye. So like I said before, I'm going to go in with Film Noir lipstick, but beforehand I'm going to use Bittersweet by MAC. This is one of their Pro Long Wear lip liner, and I'm just going to line the outer part of my lips. I've just roughly outlined the lips. Yep, I look like I'm from the 90s. Um, and then I go in with the lipstick and then I outline again to really neaten up the edges. Okay, so then to clean up the edges, I'm just gonna use, oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm just watching Big Bang Theory. Yeah, so to clean up the edges, I'm just going to use a little bit of concealer. And then lastly for products, I'm just going to use a little bit of highlighter. And the one I'm using today, if I can open it, is Becca's um, Opal Shimmering Skin Perfector.
Then to finish off the skin, I am going to apply some MAC Fix Plus to settle down all the powders and just merge everything together. Okay, so that is the finished look, guys. Oh, <laughs> I really hope you liked it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment letting me know what you thought down below. And yeah, also obviously let me know if you've got any requests. And also please subscribe if you haven't already. I would love you to join my channel. Thank you so much for watching and you'll see me in my next one.